Bennington Show, the only father-daughter radio show in the history of radio. I am Gail Bennington, coming to you live from Midtown, New York City. And joining me from Jamestown, New York, it is Ron Bennington. Nice to be here. Yeah. I'm starting to call it Jimmy Town. I hope that's catching on. <laughs> that is so Not cute. Not sure yet. And that's because he's just a baby. He'll grow into James Town. Yeah. He's James someday. Right now he's Yimmy's. <laughs> Little Yimmy. I'm getting a small amount of feedback. How do I sound to you guys? You sound good to us. You sound clear to us. Are you having echo in your ear? Yeah, just slightly. I'll just pretend that I'm tripping. Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, I don't fun. think I'm tripping. I only took mushrooms. Is that uh, um, considered tripping? Yeah, I think it would be. It is, yes. Psychedelic mushrooms, right? I, I don't see it that way. <laughs> I think you got to go all in or it's nothing. <laughs> so you had a, a, a great show today. I'm like so excited to hear about it. Yeah, I'll send you guys some uh, pictures, but we uh, did the Robin Williams panel today at the Chautauqua Institute. It was just absolutely uh just fantastic, and everybody at the National Comedy Center has been so great. They have so many great people with them, and um, I'm just loving it, and I may stay. I just what? may stay. We thought this yeah. was going to be your uh, you know, last show out there, and maybe you would come home. So well, just the opposite. It's my last show from New York City. <laughs> oh, um, no. I'm going, yeah, I'm going uh, local. You know what I mean? I'm off the reservation. It's like apocalypse now. Um, I'll just be, you know, Chris Stanley would be sent up the river to find me. But <laughs> I'll just tell him, call him an errand boy. <laughs> Don't hassle heard, you. You're a local. I heard uh, Vito's opening, and I have to tell you, I, I watched nothing of these uh, things, and I don't have any plan on it. I'm no, no big fan of the debates. Well, uh, can I give you just a rundown? Yeah, it was a dog pile on Joe Biden. Was most of the uh, the whole at thing. his age? Yeah, it was. It was. It was pretty gruff, but it was the thing that most uh, people are talking about, which I think is really, really strange. Is actually before the debate even started. Uh, Kamala Harris was coming down the stage. Joe Biden was already in the center stage. And, uh, you know, from the last debate, obviously, she took some some serious shots at him questioning things about um, race. And uh, so he put his hand out and he shook her hand and he leans in. And, of course, the mics pick it up. And he's like, hey, go easy on me, kid, with like a like a sweet smile on his face. Right. And then immediately was trending afterwards is uh, how could he call her kid? That was totally inappropriate. Right. It's like. I don't think it. I think I think I know he was exactly being sweet. what he, he was having fun. Yeah, I actually when he did it, this is how like I would never understand where people would get that. I was like, well, that was charming. That was what I said. He did it, and I was like, oh, that was a charming thing to say. The same thing has happened to me too. Uh, last time I saw Vito, I whispered in his ear, "Mr. Big Stuff, who do you think you are?" You know, as like a yeah, you know, like a sweet, fun thing. Of course, I would have thought that was cute, but well, more people brought up the fact that I had straddled him and was grinding <laughs> during a lap dance, which to me had nothing to do. With no, that's unrelated. You know, and of mm -hmm. course, you're from different times, um, right? Yeah, also... I'm from pre-PC, <laughs> right. okay? That's what we used to call ourselves. Like, you're PC Richards and we're and Sons. Thank you. <laughs> um, also, uh, Joe Biden at one point... Everybody, you know, was doing their, their final thought, and uh, I think it was that he said, uh, and go to Joe 30330... <laughs> Well, everyone had given their website, and he just said, go to Joe 30330, and that's not a thing. That's no. And, like, everyone immediately was going, is that a website? And people were trying to go there. It's not a thing. I think it was one of those things where if you text that number and you write Joe, you can add right. something. Yeah. But he didn't understand that. So when everyone was giving their websites, he just said, go to Joe 30330. And it was... Yeah. Um, it was like an old man moment. Again, uh, something to mock, I suppose, this elderly man. <laughs> today, uh, today I was trying to make a, a, a vlog, and I was just yelling into my blender because I don't know how this shit works, okay? 
I mean, I was around when Born to Run came out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. This is a different time. It's yes. the internet. It's, uh, you know, social media, comic book yeah. movies and sequels. Right. He just, he just joined Snapchat, too. I remember when there were smoking areas. So what are you going to do? <laughs> Um, and yeah, and I remember when uh, when comic books weren't movies, you know? <laughs> That's old school. What did, uh, 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 I saw Earl just put up uh, a picture of a famous comic book place that closed in New York. What was it, Earl? Which one was it? Earl? St. Mark's Comics. Oh, no, really? It, it yeah, is. Yeah, one of the famous. Yeah, man, I knew somebody who worked there for many, many years. That's you really buy sad. weed from them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Er, what is the, what just Earl, happened? Earl, what then? is that? Yeah, my. Just, oh, turn it off. Turn it off. While you turn off your I mic. I went to you... turn it off. That's when it hit the uh, floor. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, Angry this is Earl. early. This I is... tried to bring him in as being part of the early. show. No, right. I'm good, but yeah, but St. Mark's is done. St. Mark's Comics, St. Mark's Place as we know it is pretty much. Earl, what are you What's doing? Are you, <laughs> doing anything? Anything? are you knocking into the mic? <laughs> Earl, you're out of control. <laughs> no, I'm not. What is that sound? All right, now, Earl. A, a lot of people were bringing up to Earl. He acts like that's sad, but people were writing, when's the last time you bought a comic book there, Earl? And it is kind of true. Yeah. Like, we want things to hang around, but it's not like we support them. Well, the Particularly point, Earl. I mean, I, I hadn't bought one in years, but it was still doing extraordinarily well, and it just got priced out because St. Mark's Place has been completely, for lack of a better word, gentrified, and now it's just a run of... It, it, it's unrecognizable. You know I, wrote, I wrote this to Earl. I go, well, people don't read much Beetle Bailey these days. <laughs> <laughs> And it's true, like, even the people that love comic book movies don't read the comics. Yeah, I'm no. sure most people, they're like, when you say, who's your favorite superhero, they're going off of what superhero movie. They're not saying, okay, this is the comic book I grew up reading. I would right. let, let, Last time I went to Comic Con, I was tagging it where I was scratching out the comic and putting movie con <laughs> all over. That's cool. And then I wrote... You're comic conning us out of money. You fucking got him. <laughs> Thanks. They didn't think so. No really? one thought I made an impact. <laughs> Who would you? I can't even remember the last time I saw a comic book movie. No, me either. It's been a really, really long time. It's been ages. I, I, can't, I, I'm. It's not for me. I drunkenly watched um, the la not the last End Game, but the, uh, Age of Ultron or some shit. The whatever the last one was with Thanos. Why do you got to act like you were drunk and you're not? Yeah, sure? come on, you Just were very say it. Sure. That's okay. A lot of people like these movies. Infinity War. That's the one I watched. Yeah. And it was you knew what awful. the title the whole time. Yes. I got confused so, with Infinity War and End Game. <laughs> you know what? I admit that I watched the hot stuff. The little devil that came out that looks like Casper. <laughs> Boy, I did a reference none of you guys no, know. No, I Not don't know one who person. the devil but, Casper. Look up hot stuff. He looks like Casper, <laughs> but he's a devil. Earl knows. <laughs> That's he why I'm laughing. Oh, days. I recognize oh, yeah. that. I feel like people would like tag that or something. A lot of people it's... get tattoos. Yeah. Hot yeah. Stuff. It got appropriated. He's so cute. Yeah. He's like Casper. You know how Casper died as a child yeah. and became a ghost? Well, this kid became a demon. Um, <laughs> he was a bad he, boy. Well, he had committed a murder <laughs> oh. uh, in the opening uh, comic book. <laughs> See, I don't think that's he, fair. I don't think even hell should try you as an adult. Really? Okay. Because he mar he murdered a baby. <laughs> he oh. had oh. crawled into a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. But he's kind but, of a, just like a... Uh, well, I guess he like looks like his brother or something. He's like his evil well, twin. Not a lot of people realize this, and Earl probably knows, but Hot Stuff, when he was alive, was a black kid. Oh. And then he died. And he said he didn't do any of the things he was accused of. Oh, no. Um, That's this very, is a very I mean, this was a 1960s, mid-60s <laughs> comic. It was very controversial. <laughs> but at least he had secret powers, right. uh, superpowers. Unlike Batman, who, why is he a superhero? He's rich, is what he is. Yeah. 
okay. All right, then Bill Gates is a superhero. <laughs> He's nothing. Yeah. He's just a fucking guy. Absolutely. You He's know- just a guy standing in front of a girl <laughs> telling her that he loves. <laughs> you know who I would say is the absolute worst superhero? I think is Green Lantern. And here's why. And I've never seen any of the movies. I'm just going with what I know of the comic books. Right. He, it, first of all, you have no superpowers. It's a ring. Okay? So anyone could be Green Lantern. That's yeah. right away. I don't like it. I think like Thor's um, hammer, I don't think you could access the ring. You know what I mean? I think you have to have a chip put in your neck. <laughs> I mean, if anybody knows about Green Lantern. But I think you have to be chosen to be the Green Lantern of your planet. Well, you don't understand, Gail, is every planet has its own Green Lantern. But here's the thing. Here's Green Lantern's weakness. The color yellow and wood. And you know we're we're a we're a planet of trees. It's like it's you come by the wood pretty easily. For and that the, to be your weakness is who pretty. Who came lame. up with this? Who came up with wood could hurt him? Like know. a bat? Like, so he could yes. be killed by a baseball bat. Yes, I, that's the implication that you could just take a toothpick to his neck and kill him. And also, like, you, um, you use your imagination as a Green Lantern. Your powers come from your imagination. But Green Lantern really just used giant fists to beat people up. Wait, so wait. The whole concept is it's the power of imagination? Like, you could, like, yes. you could do I anything don't... with your ring, right? <laughs> I don't like it. Like, you can fucking do whatever you want. And he just used giant fists to beat up fucking aliens <laughs> or whatever. So you're saying he just wasn't creative enough. <laughs> he was a jerk. Who would you say, it... Chris, is the, is the worst? Superhero. I'm telling you right now, Mr. Fantastic from the shitty Fantastic <laughs> Four is by far the stupidest superhero because all he could do was stretch. Like he was well, a si- he was a scientist, but he could just stretch his body. I think he's not even the worst thing thing in the Fantastic Four. I would agree with <laughs> I, that. Really, I think the guy who's a rock <laughs> is fucking ridiculous. I would. I would seriously, that might even be worse than Green Lantern to me because first of all, he's a knockoff Hulk. You know yeah, what I mean? He's just like yeah. a strong and then he's just hideous. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't really have much going on for him. He's How just is he a... su- Yeah. How is he supposed to live if he's a rock? How does his blood <laughs> Yeah. How does his nerves work? His Great brain. Point. Uh, uh, digestion. Is he ever able to take a shit? And if so, are they pebbles? But well, you know what I mean? Like, what are we talking about here? It's not explained enough. By the way, if I was a superhero, uh, my weakness would be Asian chicks. <laughs> <laughs> they could get me to do anything. <laughs> All right. 844 Rock Out if you want to jump in on worst superhero. We have David who has an answer for us. David. Uh, hey, y'all. The, the Flash is by far the worst. The Flash? I mean, he gets, he's fast. So he gets there. Okay, what, what, do you need me to take something somewhere fast? He can't do anything. You can forget this. He can punch fast. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, he can punch fast, fast too? Fast arms, yeah. fast legs. That's really a punch and kick. But I do like what you <laughs> what you bring up in concept. That it's just like, and then once he arrives, what happens? But yeah, fast arm movement, I think, is part of it. D- he could jerk off in less than a second. <laughs> Well, so can I. In a second? Well, then you well, are I'm not a, superhero. a superhero. Yeah. Uh, this uh, Fez actually is checking in. He wants to know why uh, why hot stuff is in a diaper. Um, he's a demon who must shit himself. Yeah. Well, that's I part think, of the punishment, I suppose. I think he's so little and young in his death. That he had never been properly toilet trained. Right. I mean, it's sad when you it's think It's actually about it. really sad. Yeah. They, you know, the Catholic Church could use this. Like, this is why you have to baptize your babies. You don't want to end <laughs> up with them as hot stuff, do you? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> now, uh, for me, uh, I loved the flesh when I was a kid. Yeah. I, I just thought, you know, when you're a kid, the only thing that matters is you, who's the fastest kid in first grade? Yeah. Who can, fa- you know, run around? So I think that one was really appealing. And I remember uh, a comic book where it was Superman versus the the Flash. And for some reason, they had a race. I think it was a race around the world. 
and it ended in a tie. And I remember going, you can't even fucking let him have that Superman. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. You have to have everything that there is. Seriously. Super strength, flying, ugh. Lasers that, in the eyes. At that point, just fall back just a little. Come yeah. on. Just be like, Give oh, it to man, him, man, you're second faster than yeah. me. That's oh, so cool. Oh, you just fucking beat me, dude. <laughs> well, at least I could have shot your feet out with lasers if I wanted to. Here's the thing, too. I why I will say another reason Flash isn't uh, the worst is I think he's got a cool look. Yeah, he's got a cool costume. I right. I liked it as a kid. Kids, and I feel love like the color red. Where if you're just like a, a rock man, not cool. You know what Did I mean? Did I just say this? Flash, oh, oh the savior of the universe. universe. Flash. He, it's a different Flash, completely. A better flash. flash. Yeah. And Jumpin' Jack Flash was his theme song. So, yeah, right there. Yeah. Definitely not the worst. All right, Kurt from Rhode Island. Who do you think is the hey. worst superhero? Well, Family Guy attacks Aquaman, so that can't really go with that. Robin's got to be the worst, so what the hell does he do? Well, he's a trapeze artist, and he is there... To support Gay Batman, lovers with yes, Batman? it's it's sexual. Yeah, There's no I mean, doubt about I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna shame him for that. Yeah. I will oh, say, no. but Except for he's a minor. But I will say this <laughs> about him: he's a, a a trapeze artist, which is more than what Batman is. You know what I mean? Like at least he has some skill set. And then I don't know. Didn't Robin become Nightwing? And Nightwing was pretty cool. I think he had a cool costume. Uh, Again, cool look. Uh, you can't tell. There's so many Robins, and they've died, and they've yeah. been smothered, and all kinds of things have happened. But I will say this. What kind of a bad person is Bruce Wayne that he would take a child out with him to fight crime? Yeah, and you know an orphaned mean? child. You know, he was a very yeah. damaged child, I believe. Abused the flying, is the word you're looking for. The flying Graysons all per uh, perished. Yeah. Batman, so he was manipulating that child and doing yeah. his fucking bullshit. I mean, Batman can be selfish at times. At Super times, selfish. Constantly. <laughs> Look at him. He's a little rich boy who doesn't think of charity once. <laughs> <laughs> and he's always acting like, "Look at these people. They can't rise above it." Well, you wouldn't know, dude. You were born with billions of dollars. You have a butler in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> he's unrelatable. That's you know really what? the issue. If Batman is a superhero, he, so is Arthur, the mm -hmm. Dudley Moore character. Yeah. <laughs> he has, he's rich. He has a butler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan from Iowa City. Who is the worst superhero? Hey, buddy. Hey, hey buddy. Oh, it's got to be Hawkeye. Once he's out of arrows, he's just like a guy named Chet. Hawkeye. I mean, he's in the he's, Avengers too. I don't know how the fuck he got in. Uh, first of all, Chris started to look it up for me and immediately brought up a sex toy. I don't know what you put in there, but the he jerk just. Eye. <laughs> what was that? Um, okay, so I've never seen an Avengers movie, but I mean, wow. I guess his his so skill good. is just archery. His super yeah. archery. Yeah, but he's really good at it. Yeah, he's right. sick. <laughs> his hand eye coordination is fucking nuts. <laughs> So can he fight at all? Like if it, if if he drops his arrows, is how is he with the hand, he hand just, to hand? He just fights with the bow. Then like he uses the bow to beat people up. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's certainly a good sportsman. Then at yeah. this point, is that a superhero? Why doesn't he have a backup gun just for when he <laughs> runs out of arrows? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, like you would think that your if your aim is that good, why not use a better weapon? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe it is Hawkeye. Is he the same Hawkeye from MASH? You <laughs> wish. I think they he never is. say. <laughs> so, if so, then he's also a very skilled surgeon and quite wacky. <laughs> he's a <laughs> functioning alcoholic. <laughs> quite a lot of levity to the war. He did. He made the Korean War the funniest of all wars. <laughs> Tony from Iowa. You're on Bennington. All right, how about Superman's dog? Super dog? Super dog? Whatever his name was. What was he like last year? I think it was Crypto. Crypto? That's cryptocurrency. Why would, name... oh, crypto. why, would he... <laughs> why would he name it after something that kills him? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy asshole. Does he do anything or he's just uh, super companionship? 
I I really felt like you can't pay attention to his dog or Supergirl. I yep. just felt like those were things that came in that yeah. had nothing to do with the real story. They were cash grabs by DC. I mean, that's <laughs> they were just like, what can we slap the Superman S on? I guess a How woman and a dog. <laughs> You know, kids like hamsters these days. Should we make a super hamster? Why not? <laughs> yeah, because I would. Like super, super girl, she's really like not in with the Justice League, right? No, not at all. No, she doesn't exist. She's a figment of his imagination. She's a fucking also ran. And then super girl, uh, there's no super woman. I mean, is she not grown no. or? No. Okay. She's just a teen. She committed suicide uh -huh. with some crypt. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> she swallowed four ounces of kryptonite. She couldn't take oh, it anymore. No. A boy had broken up with her. <laughs> so sad. Super yeah. sadness. I also found Shazam to be pretty stupid. I never liked Shazam. I thought it was just like a Superman ripoff. Kind of looked well, like him. Well, was he, he real? Was he showing up on like a major thing? Oh, he got the he got a movie made out of him. I just know made that. Made out I, of him. <laughs> Like it's real. He's so hysterical. <laughs> he got a movie made out of him. I just remember the was it a Saturday morning cartoon that was Shazam? Yeah, yeah. The, the guy was riding around in a fucking Winnebago with an old man. Yeah, the mm -hmm. creepy old wizard guy or whatever. Yeah. And they never left the Hollywood Hills. It was really weird. <laughs> you know? It's not good. And his his name for the old man that took him places was Mentor. Oh, it come was basic, on. It was basically like calling a master. <laughs> <laughs> yes, master. <laughs> All right. Josh from Boston wants to defend uh, a superhero Good. that we call the worst. Josh. How are you guys doing? Hey. Batman, Batman is a trained like samurai. How was he unskilled? Basically, that doesn't make you a superhero. Samurai. Makes you a trained samurai. We don't call samurai what, superheroes. All right, he wasn't born with powers, so he made himself super. Defends the whole right. city, defeats that, multiple bad guys in a movie. I mean, come on. But here's the thing: that's like saying Muhammad Ali, yeah, was super, or Dick Buckus was super. <laughs> right. They you trained. Know, Lawrence Taylor is not a Superman. He's a very good human at playing football. Did Lawrence Till defend the whole city against against a madman with a bomb? Well, in a Super Bowl, he did his own <laughs> his own way. A, a madman that could throw bombs. I mean, it was quite the upset. <laughs> I mean, I, at any point, did anyone ever say that Michael Jordan was a superhero? No, quite no. frankly, people even get mad when you say he was a hero. He was an athlete. Right. It's a it's a different thing, and I think you know, just like I was saying for the the archer, it's like you have a you have a great skill. You're a sportsman, yeah. But like a superhero needs a like powers that are beyond capability Extra, of everyone else. Extraordinary, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not just an OCD on fucking learning jujitsu or whatever <laughs> fucking Batman did. Okay. okay. Hold on. I don't know if I would call that an OCD. Is that no learning yeah, jujitsu? <laughs> Yeah, drive, Chris. You know, he's, he's jealous of people with drive is the problem. I, I don't have any problem saying that uh, that Batman accomplished a lot with the money that he was giving. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? He could have just laid around in his pool, ate Oxycontin, right. and smoked really, really good weed. But he didn't. He went out and he learned some things. And, you know, he did his best at breaking the law. Yeah, because you know, right. that's exactly what he did. Yeah, he broke the law. He did. He took it into his own hands. Yeah, his hands and a child that he took places <laughs> yeah. with him. A small boy, an orphaned boy. Yeah, uh, it's our buddy Lewis from Manhattan. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, before I get hey, to my Lewis. computer, I just wanted to give you guys a little Green Lantern trivia. Ron is right with what he was saying about you know every planet has a Green Lantern. Yeah, and exactly. what I find really cool is that um. Superman, if his planet wouldn't have blown up and he wouldn't have came here, he would have been the Green Lantern of Krypton. There's like some comic all about that. Oh, um, oh so he would have just so then he would have just been like a mediocre superhero on his own planet. Yes. No, no, he no. He well, I guess if that's what you think about Green Lantern, he's one of my favorites. But anyway, <laughs> let me get into uh, who I his, who I don't. He has get a lantern. 
I, I, I like the ring thing when I was a kid. I always wanted one of the rings. I understand, um, but it could have been green flashlight. I mean, we moved past lanterns. <laughs> <man. laughs> There's different colors, though. There, there's yellow lantern, green. You know, they have all the different colors. They're like... um. Captain Planet, what, what, was, what was that shit with the Power Rangers but you're, or whatever? You're, you're obviously yeah. an expert. Am I right about the color yellow and wood? You are. I don't know about wood, but I know yellow. Yeah, yellow is like his weakness or something. Chris, look up the but wood I thing. I don't know, about wood. I I never don't know if I made it up. You mean like yeah. if I went there in a yellow jumpsuit, I could beat the shit out of him? <laughs> yep. <laughs> with, yep. With a wooden club? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lee. <laughs> Bruce Lee in his yellow jumpsuit could beat the shit out of Green Lantern. But um, my, my hero, um, I don't know if they just made her up for the cartoon, but it's Jubilee. I don't get that character because all she does is just shoot fireworks and doesn't do anything. Yeah, she blew. All she could do, yeah, was like <laughs> fucking shoot lights at people yeah. and like distract the fucking other bad mutants. Yeah, she that was like bad. a generation X teenager that just shot fireworks. Like she served no purpose for the X Men. Like she was just like a young Asian girl. Like you had Cyclops there that shot but fucking she has an laser Asian, beams. Racist, Why yeah. she is Asian? Good point, Lewis. Thank you for no, calling. She was, like, white or something. She's definitely Asian. She wasn't Asian. All right, Chris, know. Uh, uh, you know, I'm here in Jamestown. You've been running this show like, well, <laughs> quite frankly, you've been running the, the board like shit the last oh, couple of days. Okay. Uh, so when the show started, I thought we started. Nobody heard Vito. We went into break, right? Right. Yeah. So you had Vito restart. Yeah. And people were saying they did not hear that. Well, that's ridiculous. That's the cue I was given. I was told we were going to be live at that time from the booth. So I'm going to have to look into what happened. Do well, we have to do a third veto? Because I'm going to tell you the yeah. truth. I thought he had the weakest jokes all week today. So then maybe it, it was better it wasn't heard. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a sign that he wasn't supposed to. Flash. Oh. Savior of the universe. Chris, did you find the wood thing? Yes, he did. The The original Green Lantern had a weakness to wood. See? Why? Wood. That's really the issue. Wait, so what would happen if someone threw a log at him? He like, would just get knocked out? It would hit him. Like, it would hurt him. Like, he had to, like, dodge wood and wooden weapons. I mean, all we have is wood. Yeah. He could have been, you know, beaten by the Vikings. Um. Now... The yellow meant what? I don't know. It was, I mean, here's the thing that doesn't make sense about yellow, too. It's just like yellow and is like in green. You know what I mean? So like to me, yellow is part of green. So how could that be your weakness if you're like a green guy? If somebody was beating you up with yellow, you could just add blue. Right. And it would become your superpower. <laughs> right? Exactly. Got to add blue to this <laughs> yellow. Blue Chew is really the combination of the powers. Uh, if you now, pee on him, too, that's a oh big weakness. For him. But he likes it, too, so it's, it's <laughs> the very yellow conflicted. discipline. <laughs> Perhaps a little piss will take you down, <laughs> Perhaps a little pee-pee is what you need right now. No! It's not so much that it's urine, but it's that it's yellow. You just see uh, Green Lantern somewhere, and he's like, what the? I'm getting weaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Pissing down my back. <laughs> Entering lower back into ass crack. <laughs> and puddling up at the balls. <laughs> Perhaps a little piss is what you need. <laughs> Chris, uh, Corey from Rockland wants to agree with you. Corey, you're on Bennington. That's a shock. I just wanted a, just wanted a quick question about uh, Green Lantern. What if he got a Woody? Would that do something to him? Yeah, I, think no, I don't think so. That's that maybe a different thing. I know there was uh, one not, episode I, where he hurt his leg, but then he got a splint and died. <laughs> <laughs> it's tragic. See just how. don't even do it. This splinter went into my <laughs> foot. <laughs> Losing consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. A little piss is what you need, Green Lantern. <laughs> Why don't you drink some of this hot piss? <laughs> <laughs> Corey, what did you want to say about yeah. Shazam? <laughs> he was just, he was number one, he was another Superman knockoff. He drove around in a Winnebago. He, I mean, Wait, he was a Superman only... Knockoff that couldn't fly? He had to take a Winnebago? So, like, 
when when yeah, he wasn't he when he didn't have his powers, he was in the Winnebago. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's where he stayed yeah. with the older man who <laughs> mentored him. Okay, got it, got it. Alex from Baltimore knows uh, a bit Baltimore. about uh, <laughs> that rat infested <laughs> city. <laughs> Alex, Alex. Hey everybody. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's everybody doing? Sorry, I just got to get the rats out of my car real quick. One <laughs> second. Um, <laughs> hey, so so uh, the reason uh, he, uh, Green Lantern was weak to yellow actually has to do with money. Yellow was a cheaper color to use as ink, and a lot of those superheroes at the time use cheaper colors to to be their colors, which is why they're the colors today. All comes down to what was the cheapest color to put on the page for this, you know, issue. And it ended up being yellow. Weird. Always comes back to that Yankee dollar, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, sure does. Yeah. Makes the world go around. I, don't, I know that you can't do this right now, but I'm making the million dollar man <laughs> fold me money sign. Everybody's got a price. <laughs> <laughs> John from Virginia, you're on Bennington. What is the worst superhero? Hey, Gail, guys. Hey. Good show, Gail. Right. All right. Peace. Robin Hood. Who? Robin Hood. Gail Robin Hood? The, uh, yeah. Like the band of merry men? Wait, there was a actual Robin Hood. He was also an archer, right? There's yeah, green hornets. Yeah. So. No, yeah. you're thinking of green arrow. <laughs> green arrow. Green arrow. Yeah. Wait, but look no, up Robin Hood because I think... Robin Hood was just from the myth of the, for uh, the you know the old Middle Ages thing. He's not a superhero. He's just a guy. <laughs> He's just a dude. Okay, no. hold on. This says there was a DC comic, but I think he's. They were just writing about Robin Hood. Yeah, it was Let's just. Take just a look. Yeah. yeah, there yeah. definitely was. Yeah, they just they made a Robin Hood comic book. It was they didn't just make up a character <laughs> called Robin Hood. It's like now, super theft. Now, one of the first animes that came out was like a space Robin Hood thing. And it would be like the Sherwood planet and all that. Oh, that's cool. And, yeah, I loved it when I was a little kid. I think it was even in black and white because it came over from uh, Japan. Um, I don't know if you looked that up, Chris, or maybe you refused. <laughs> no, <I'm looking laughs> He's up. doing it right now. It was kind of a Robin Hood in space. Oh, yeah, that looks great. That looks pretty cool. This is much better than that. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, no Daiboken. That yes. must be it. Yeah, that's Japanese. <laughs> Chris, let's not be racist. <laughs> Robin Hood, no Bioken. <laughs> Joe from Jersey, you're on Bennington. Worst superhero? Uh, the Toxic Avenger. Well, you know, that was set up to be kind of silly and fun, right? Yeah. He's that's the worst like guy office. ever. He's hideous. <laughs> Uh, he made a lot of money for Troma. They put zero money into yeah. it. <laughs> and a lot came out. 844-ROCK-GOD, uh, 844-ROCK-GOD. We got into this. And I can't believe this, Gail. No one has uh, mentioned what I consider one of the most ridiculous things ever. Ant-Man. Oh, yeah. A man with the power of an ant. Yeah, that's not a good one. And he... And he gets super tiny, right? I he mean, gets that's, very tiny. Yeah. That's not something. And, and then somehow... He gets large, but I don't even think he wants to. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, yeah he prefer- I'm more comfortable as an ant. <laughs> yeah, he, like he, there was definitely a lot more storylines of him going tiny as opposed to gigantic, <laughs> which fucking doesn't I mean, make I any sense. I don't even see why he's Ant-Man if he could go <laughs> right. small and large. Why isn't he Elephant Man or Blue Whale Man? <laughs> <laughs> and can he even get atomically small? Yeah, he can, yeah. Well, that's way smaller than an right. ant. He should be called fucking Atomic Joe Wait. or something. <laughs> Atomic Joe. Isn't there someone called Adam? There and isn't. He... Like, there is some sort of Adam man. Yeah. Adam Ant. Would have been perfect. Yeah, perfect. For the 80s. <laughs> I think he's just called Adam. Yeah, he's yeah. a DC character, too. He's basically the same thing as fucking uh, Ant-Man. And they're both in the same universe? They're both in the same yeah. universe, yeah. DC sucks so much balls. Yeah, they, it's they, awful. You, you can't have you can't have the same, certainly if it's in the same universe. There's one, and I'm not sure but if this is DC or not, but I remember seeing this years ago, and it was Squirrel Girl. And Hush. I was like, <laughs> no, this isn't good. And I even saw that it was like, 
her thing was like she was trying to be a superhero and then eventually she just got to be like in charge of taking care of Central Park. And I was like, that's terrible. It's awful. I mean, there's enough crime to keep busy. Crackheads alone. And I don't even think she could fly. Like you would think, oh, like what could she like? Like a flying squirrel? No, like I think she just like has a squirrel tail. Like I don't think she has any good powers. This is cosplay. You right. Know what I mean, there's this is pet play. Right. That's a, a lot furry. of people are into this. Right. That's a furry. Uh, a butt plug with a furry tail does not give you superpowers. Right. <laughs> I looked up Squirrel Girl, and apparently she was part of a team called the Great Lakes Avengers <laughs> that just policed the Great Lakes. No, and then why did she have to move? Look up Central Park, because I swear they just like were like you're in charge of Central Park now. I've never heard of this, but I do know for a fact that. Uh, you know, Spider Man was just Queens. Yeah. And then this is a weird one to me. Daredevil just took care of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> I mean, it's like a really small area. Yeah, you couldn't even get him into the Upper West Side. No. <laughs> He's like, that's not my area. <laughs> not those familiar. Buildings, yeah, those buildings are too tall for me. I like to stay in the 40s, but on the West Side. He can only deal with walk ups. Yeah. Even Hudson Yards is a little too far for me. Uh, Maybe what you need is a little urine. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Mike from Georgia, worst superhero. I think that the by far the the lamest superhero in the 1970s, the greatest American hero. Was a TV series, and this guy believe was given, it or not, I'm yeah, yeah. Hair. the guy could well, even fly straight. I mean, well, this was his thing. He was just a guy, a really gorgeous uh, kid uh, with curly, curly. Oh, blonde look at those hair. curls! Yeah, he found a a suit, and it was a super suit. So he put it on, but he didn't know how to use all the things. Oh, so every episode, he would find out that the suit could do something else but he actually um ended up in a butch cassidy and sundance kid prequel in the robert redford part he was that oh, attractive. really yeah and now guess who played the paul newman part and i'm going to give you each and to uh -huh. me, this is a uh, is a superhero type thing because this move, movie, and it was a made-for-TV movie, right? It really isn't bad as a, really? as a prequel. And it's a it's a, a, a ridiculous idea. Uh, and then this guy also, as years went by, he wasn't considered a looker. But in the very early days, he was. I have a, I have a guess. All right, go ahead. Was it a Burt Reynolds? Burt Reynolds is older. Than Paul Newman. Okay, <laughs> you're not going to play him as a youngster. I was. It's funny that you, I was going to say Tom Selleck. I guess we we're thinking mustaches. Yes. <laughs> Don't get him without putting the mustache. <laughs> Earl, without checking, do you know? Um, Patrick Wilson. Patrick Wilson. was way too young, bro. <laughs> In the seventies, would have been an infant. He was a baby. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he must have been like a four year old, if anything. I'm, I'm Butch Cassidy. <laughs> Look at me, everybody. I'm Butch Cassidy. <laughs> it's adorable. Earl, do you, uh, I mean, uh, Vito, do you have a guess? Vito, he's been on phones because oh, okay. we're all lit up. Oh, we really can't count on it. I'll just tell you guys, it's Tom Berenger. Tom, Tom Berenger. Oh, Tom, love Tom yeah. Berenger. When he was young, he was considered the young Paul Newman. Uh, I feel like I was closest with Tom Selleck. If we're yeah, just going so. by a first yeah. name. <laughs> yeah, that worked. Wow, Tom, young, young Tom Berenger was fucking Beautiful. Yes, good. he was really he was gorgeous. I mean, he did gray not hair. take care of himself. <laughs> You know, he had a lot of natural gifts, and he did what I call Bennington them. <laughs> Man, he has a, a great hair, great jawline. It's like you got to keep that up, dude. Hey, uh, Chris, go over to our stories and listen to the impression that Gail's doing uh, today. 
this one I absolutely love, Gail. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know if everybody knows who she's doing. Right. This impression. I, I would this assume not most people. Very obscure movie, too. But you just absolutely nailed it. Uh, do you got it, Chris? Uh, it's not coming up on our computers here. I'm going to check to see on, on the phone if it's going to come up. <sighs> Oh, my I know. God. What a nightmare. I know. What a nightmare. Anyway, if you go to uh, the Instagram, the Bennington Stories. Bennington SXM on Instagram, on I Stories, believe, to see a very I, dated impression. Yes, <laughs> it is dated, yet it's the most feedback I think we've ever gotten. Really? Anything. Yeah, <laughs> just a lot of people commented on it. All right, let's uh, jump back into the phones, Gil. All right, so Dan from Rochester. Who is the worst superhero? I have to go with Batgirl. Number one, you've got nepotism. She was Gordon's daughter. There's nothing wrong with that. Inferior <laughs> inferior technology. <laughs> okay. And now she wants equal pay. Um, did something horrible happen to her too? I think she ended up breaking her back and Okay, here's okay, this is really weird that you're saying this cuz like I don't know why I've never said this, but one of my earliest memories is you reading the comic book where uh Barbara Gordon, right? That's her name, Barbara Gordon. She gets shot and it like the bullet pierces her spine and I think she was Paralyzed, and it's like a really early memory I have of you reading the comic book to me. Why would I do? I that? don't Why know because I, I must have been. I'm gonna go with like three or four years old. I don't even remember ever having one single comic. We book. had the comic book, and you were reading it to me. Ugh, I hate me. <laughs> um, it really disturbed me as a child. Yeah. and then I would say to you, "You think that's gonna happen to you one day, honey? <laughs> you think you'll get shot in your spine?" <laughs> Could happen. All right, up to I bed do you now. go. Yeah, remember everything I told you about the spinal cord. <laughs> Good night, sweetie. <laughs> big L from Brooklyn is going to be a big L. A big L. A big L. Who is the worst what? superhero? Uh, uh, Green Arrow. Green Arrow. That's the that's the other uh, that's the other archer. archer we were trying to think of. Was well, so a why is the worst? Hawkeye was actually a Green Arrow was just another rich guy like Bruce Wayne. That's dumb. He had no, he had no talent except for Hawkeye. All right, I can't hear. But it is sounds like his that... issue is that he was rich and maybe that he just knows how to shoot arrows. I thought he also looked a little like a pirate. He did. You know what I mean, he yeah, was he a, uh, he was bearded. A ne'er do well, a oh. ne'er do well hipster. You know what? He actually did have almost like the pointed hat too, yes. which yeah. is like why it was kind of piratey. Um, and then he had like a very pointy blonde beard. Gail, I, I think if you remember when you were a little girl, I read you the uh, comic book with him when he got AIDS. He had contracted AIDS. <laughs> I'll never anally. forget that. Uh, anally. He had, yeah, he had contracted them anally. And um, oh, he just was withering away to nothing <laughs> until he, uh, I mean, because this was back, you know, before we had any kind of cures. And he begged his friend to kill him with a brick. So, so tragic. Get yeah. to bed, honey. It's a pretty early memory. Yeah, Thanks for that. That's all I'm reading tonight. I'll try to pick it up tomorrow. <laughs> Wyatt in Long Island. Who is the worst superhero? What's up, buddies? What's going on? Uh, I would definitely say Apache Chief from Super Friends from the old DC show. All he did was get bigger. I don't like remember Ant-Man. Apache uh, Chief. I, guys... So, yeah, I do, I do kind of remember a very tall Native American man. Wow. But I, All he did was get bigger. So he would get bigger and then what? Like pick people up and like toss them uh, around and stuff? Do you remember he this episode? Like, Gail, uh, when there, he was in old. What's that? I don't know which one of us you're talking you. to. You. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So uh, I, I don't know whether you remember this episode, but when Superman uh, was saying to Apache Chief, Put the ball in the basket, Chief. <laughs> Put the ball in the basket. <laughs> Let's yeah. keep an eye on those levels, Chris. Uh, Larry from Vegas. Who's the worst superhero? Larry. Uh, I'm kind of a new sh- new listener. Um, I do want to say you guys' show is awesome. Yeah, oh, thanks, uh, Larry. Uh, also, so this guy's actually a villain, I guess. But uh, he's uh, 
the enemy of Wolverine. His name's uh, Sabretooth Tiger from the an X-Men character. Uh-huh. But I think that he just, like, has a good sense of smell, and <laughs> he was I just hairy. I the movie, yeah. I don't think there's... I don't know what... Unless you guys know what his... Yeah. yeah. Powers, I don't I think... Of. He has the power of a Sabretooth uh, Tiger, but in the movie, he was oddly attractive <laughs> to women. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Chris has pulled him up. Yeah, he's he's got, like, long blonde. Yeah. He's, like, yeah. very, like, a on brand right now with, like, yeah. the long hair and the beard. He's like a blonde Vito, basically. Yeah, and not- Vito also has super smell. And, I mean, super smell and rough sex were his two powers <laughs> right. that he had. <laughs> uh. It's like, that's good, but is it comic book worthy? Yeah. I don't know. And don't spit in my mouth. Just kiss me. <laughs> uh, Dan from New Jersey, we're a superhero. It's Dan Perlman. Dan. Wow. What's going on, guys? The worst superhero I think of is actually Captain Planet. TV series back in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, I remember. The only way for this guy to come up, he'd have five kids with special rings to bring him up. Yeah. Well, he was also Tom Cruise, right? Was he Tom Cruise? I didn't realize that. Tom Cruise played the voice of Captain uh, Planet. It's kind of interesting because, like, looking at Captain Planet, now he does look like Tom Cruise. Right. He kind of looks like him. But he had the the power of Scientology. (laughs) But he was just like super environmentally conscious, right? I mean, that was like his. I guess none of the kids listened because here we are with global warming. I mean, that's not our fault, though. (laughs) Really? I mean, we can sit around on Krypton and complain about people who don't believe in global warming, but look what happened, you know? Yeah, that is true. I maybe you know what this is just another thing millennials killed just add the planet to it can I just say this I'd like to make a little spaceship put Juju in it mail her to a planet where she could be a superhero I know I would like that too and because this one's already gone to shit anyway oh it's over although I'm in western New York and this lake it's such a beautiful day today that I was actually going to tell you guys that I had something stuffed in my eye and I wouldn't be able to do the show. (laughs) A lot of people were telling me that the wine tour is absolutely wonderful. And I feel like I could drink wine now, you know? Why, uh, Why do you think that? I don't think so. There's an old rumor that if you're sober long enough, you can start drinking wine again and smoking weed. I don't think that's true. <laughs> no. Again, I... California sober. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that included their fine wines as well. Oh, the wines are terrific. <laughs> Steve from Maine has got a worst uh, superhero for us. Steve. Hey, guys. You probably remember uh, patrol mom her superpower is finding the lowest gas prices around Akron, Ohio. Single nice. mother, a very yeah. underrepresented uh, segment in superheroes, and she would collect gas cards from all the different uh, petrol stations around Akron. Oh, I wish I would have grown up in Akron. That sounds really this nice. This would have made it all uh, worth it. Hey, why we're talking about bad superheroes, you brought up one uh, earlier. I always thought the Hulk was ridiculous. I mean, he has the power of anger. I yeah. Mean, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. And I think this, if you can't control your superpower, that doesn't sound very super to me. That's You good know what point. I mean? Like, you need to harness it. You need to be like, now it's time to be Hulk. If you can't control it, uh, I, I feel like that's a super weakness then. How are you a superhero if you can't find the fucking TV remote and you go crazy <laughs> and destroy your own living room? I know, I left it here. <laughs> fuck! I don't know what the fuck is going on. That's what... That should be the way you... Motherfucker! When I was younger, the, the, the remote connected to the TV. A wire was perfect. <laughs> My uh, remote for, like, the Netflix and all that is so fucking tiny that oh, yeah. I lose it all the time. Yeah. it's. Uh, I mean, the remote situation my house has gotten exponentially worse with having a baby because she walks around thinking that there are phones. Chewing on it. Yeah. She yeah. thinks there are phones and she'll hold 
hold them up to her head and just go, hello, 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 and then walk them into the next room. It's not How great. stupid is she that she <laughs> thinks that you can talk through a remote? It's Siri. I'm worried about her. I really <laughs> am. I'm I concerned. mean, for one, she's really immature. <laughs> Uh, Hey, I wanted to mention also uh, this weekend, this Saturday, GPS London Trident Studios uh, is uh, airing uh, 3 p.m. Saturday on Deep Tracks Channel 27. This is a real, real good one. I think we open with London calling, don't we? Isn't that it, Earl? Out of since it's uh, London? Um, no, we actually open with, uh... No, let's have some fun, dude. Let's have some fun. Of course fun. we didn't yes. open. I know the area took place. <laughs> it's not going to be London calling. <laughs> yes. Uh, Ron, I don't know if you have a head injury. Ron, you're confused. You're confused. Um... Earl, Earl, bring me some energy, brother. Bring me some energy. At least the mic is fixed now. Yeah. This is one of my fa- I mean, some of my favorite songs of all time. This yeah, list, this is you know? such a great track we list. Got Mata Hoople, we got Bowie. Free. Uh, we got Free, yeah. which is, uh, well, it's second only to Bad Company. Um, Bowie, the Beatles. Still Bowie. And uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, as well as some American acts who went over there. So GPS, London Trident Studios. And Trident, of course, rem- of course reminds me of one thing and that's Aquaman <laughs> and everybody makes fun of him. But do you guys remember Submariner who was the ripoff? Yep, the Marvel oh, one. Yeah. Yeah. And for once in a head to head, Marvel comes in second. Because Submariner who had a very weird S and M look about him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh yeah. There oh, was yeah, just no reason weird. for this. And didn't he have like wings on his ankles? Yes, uh, that was to swim better. (laughs) That makes sense. It was like he had little ankle swimmies. Yeah, he's much more like goth looking, too. Yes. Than. um, This is who Robert uh, Patterson, or whatever his name, should have played. Uh, Yeah. Robert Parkinson's. (laughs) uh, The vampire Batman. Yes. Pattinson. I don't know. It's something like that. But yeah, he, he is way gothy looking and looks a little sad. Yes, he is sad because he has to live underwater. Yeah. Um, And that's difficult. His skin's always wrinkled. Now, does he have the same super ability to communicate with fish? That I don't know, Chris. I think he does. Yeah, he does. He can actually talk to the fish. Yeah. I don't know how often. Well, we could all talk to fish. (laughs) That's not the problem. (laughs) It's communicate with them. I was talking to a walleye last night, and I'm like, I'm going to eat you. I'm going to put you in my belly. (laughs) <laughs> All right, Mark. Out on this uh, lake, unbelievable. Oh, having really? So much, fun. literally having the time of our uh, uh, of our lives here. All the comics are having fun. That's and awesome. this whole thing rolls into next week. A bunch of big wow. headliners are going to be uh, here next week. So uh, I don't have the list in front of me, but I'm sure I can find it. I think John Mulaney and Sebastian Maniscalco will be up there, James. Well, that's you can't that's beat awesome. that. Yeah, you that's can't so beat great. that, Chris. <laughs> And make sure you go to the National uh, Comedy Center because it's just fantastic. And a lot more stuff this year. The Smothers Brothers stuff is unbelievable. I wanted to get a picture up uh, on our Instagram today by the end of the show to show you guys what we were up to today. Yeah, I would love to very, see it. very, very cool. I would absolutely love to see it. I, I mean, that theater looks so great. It's just like what an exciting show. And I can't wait to listen to it, too. You know, I, I followed this like big spiritual religious thing. And then when, as soon as we left, uh, an orchestra set up and they're going to be playing tonight, but they're doing their sound checks and all today. It's just, uh, it's phenomenal. That is so awesome. Uh, what's the website, Chris? Comedycenter.org. Comedy, Comedy Center. Comedycenter.org. Comedycenter.org. Uh, Mark has a super, a uh, worst superhero that I've never heard of before. Mark from New Jersey. You're on Bennington. Uh, hello, buddies. Uh, topic came up. I had like an acid flashback to really terrible Saturday morning cartoon. It was like a ghost amoeba called Shmoo. It was like a giant sort of. Wasn't he with Space Ghost? 
Uh, Chris, I thought you were a space, space Ghost. Space I don't know if that thing's name was Shmoo, but I, it was he. Space Ghost also hung out with an amoeba type thing. It was like was, I think it was green. This thing, okay. So Chris has pulled it up. It just looks like a bowling pin, or like maybe even a phallic kind of a weird situation with large balls. It's very, Dude, it's a I very keep, weird thing. I'm so stupid. I'm here and I keep turning around to look. <laughs> At what Chris has put up. <laughs> and I, I'm not even kidding you. I've done it every single time. <laughs> we do we do miss having you in here. So much so that our intern, Matt, hasn't even shown up since uh, you've been gone. It's mm -hmm. so sad. Since you've been gone. Uh, Dave from Albany has his worst superhero. Dave. So this one started as like a comic strip, but then in like the 80s, they made like a little funny B movie out of it, but Flash Gordon. I don't even know what his powers are. If he uh, has any Flash, powers, I don't know. Flash was a time traveler. He was like a World War II superhero, like a pilot that was pushed into the future somehow. So he was like Flash Gordon in the future. But when I was younger, there was a, a kind of a B movie that played at the drive-ins called Flash Gordon. <laughs> and it was a lot of titties and I think he was driving around in a giant cock. And, <laughs> and that you're going to like. It's back when porn had these really long convoluted uh, plot lines right. in between the sex acts. For some reason, they thought, oh, people aren't coming just to see sex. <laughs> they need, you know. Right. They need a backstory. <laughs> and then I also wonder, do they think like, well, maybe sometimes they'll come and then they want to watch a little and maybe they'll feel like doing it again. Like, they do they think sit, that people yeah. are s sticking around? Yeah. In those days, we would sit in our own jizz <laughs> and just get back into the story. Um <laughs> You know, uh, anytime that you went to a theater like that, a porn theater, you would see people leaving at all different times. No one <laughs> right. stayed around after they nutted. Yeah, you, uh, uh -huh. you leave when you're done is really yeah. the idea. Uh, Stephanie from Pennsylvania? Or is it Stefan? Well, the Stephanie. one that I was... Hey. Hey, what's up, uh, Stephanie? Hey. So the one that I was thinking of is uh, from the X-Men universe super villain is Toad. And why he's so horrible is because his um, superpower is that he has a long tongue. Yeah, that's he's disgusting. Grasping. So what's he going to do? Give you genital warts? But yeah, that's not a superhero like you'd even be happy to have. That's the thing with X-Men is like sometimes people just have shitty superpowers, yeah, which is kind right. of funny. Although I did yeah. find out a, a friend of ours, Gail, has g genital warts. Really? Uh, yeah. I don't want to say his name. It's um, it rhymes with Bobby Kelly. Okay, but oh. he brought that up the other day. <laughs> He's kind yeah. of like our toad. A lot of the STDs. Uh, uh, it was most of the panel that I did up there on addictions <laughs> and compulsions. And maybe that's what's making them so uh, just anxious and compulsive. And right, it's really all the S. STDs and STIs, as they call them now. Yes. As well. Don't forget the eyes, the infections. Yeah, that's when they're like, hey, you know, it's not a full disease, but you should warn people. <laughs> you should yeah. still let people know things <laughs> yeah. aren't right. Uh, John from Jamestown, Jamestown, eh? Yeah. Uh, has uh, a correction for us. Good. John. Hey, buddies. Hey, Ron. My, uh, hey. I, I'm. Glad to hear that you're enjoying the lake. My mother-in-law's got a house uh, right on it. It's awesome. Dude, but, I love, uh, just I love one, the lake. Hey, if you want to borrow my kayaks, go right ahead. We haven't touched for about three years. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ant-Man and the Atom are from different universes. Uh, Ant-Man's Marvel and the Atom's DC. Okay. Wanted, uh, uh, Chris, you really? Uh, Chris. I was wrong. I was wrong. I forgot Ant-Man was Marvel. You fucked up. You know what it sounds like? A super trip into our super prize closet. Oh, me. nice. Woo. Hang on the line. <laughs> one more prize I've cost. How do us. I put him on hold? Yeah, just, just a little hold, hold button. Hold. Okay. Yeah. Now, not only that, Chris, but that money is coming out of your paycheck. Oh, God. And right before your birthday. <laughs> oh, this hurts. I need that birthday money, Ron. <laughs> yeah. I need to buy myself some drinks, you know? 
uh, we're going to do a thing at the birthday, but every present you want, yeah. you're going to have to drink something awful. Um, oh, God. Nice. To get, yeah. To get behind uh, the big door for the big prize, you're going to have to drink a bucket of diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to drink Will liquid you do shit. it, Chris? And don't get, Chris, then yeah. don't get the prize. You love it's prizes, Chris. I want the prize, right? Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to attempt to drink Good. all the, the liquid shit. By the way, yeah. if you puke into that bucket, <laughs> yeah, might happen. And ruin and ruin our diarrhea. <laughs> uh, we're going to charge you for it. So you're going to charge me for, for puking up shit? Yes. <laughs> um this is going to shock you, Ron, but Earl seems to really have a hard time with the eating diarrhea and puking up shit. Can I ask Earl? We're not eating diarrhea. He's taking a bucket of diarrhea that we're going to have yeah. from sick kids. We're oh, okay. From sick children. That's he bad. He leans his head back, Earl, <laughs> bucket into his mouth, and he's and we're all like, chug, chug, oh. chug, chug. He just had to take a sip of water to calm himself. He looks like he could he could, uh, he could could hurl. Now imagine this, Earl. Go, 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 and it's all diarrhea. Go, 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 go. you stop? <laughs> He said, please stop. Earl, would it make you feel better if someone pissed into the diarrhea to cut it a little bit? Make sure it's not so acidic. That'd be nice for me. I wouldn't mind some piss to, to wash well, that shit down. Well, that's because you're no Green Lantern. <laughs> oh, a little bit of urine is what you need now. I'll piss all over you. <laughs> Earl, this is part is it gross? This is just about Green Lantern. Earl, you also had a message from uh, Ronald Reagan. Well, none of them wear shoes because they're all some kind of pygmy tribe over there in Africa, or as I call it, the dark continent. <laughs> racist, Ronald Reagan. Me racist. What Ronald a shock. <laughs> At least they're not a bunch of slant eyes, am I right? <laughs> was that uh, was that difficult for you since he was your hero, Earl? He was far from my hero. Oh. It just confirms what I already knew about the great communicator. Who do you think uh, was off. the least racist? I mean, we have a lot of racist uh, presidents. Mm -hmm. I mean, Gerald Ford. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Some That's stooge. Things, yeah. Uh, Jimmy Carter. Um, even though he had black lovers, he would call them names sure. before he could get his nut. H.W., <laughs> uh, I mean, you know his whole deal. Yeah. So, Earl, is there, uh, other than Obama, because that's cheating. Yeah, I can't say Obama. Uh, who's next? Who's the least racist of all the uh, presidents? I'm going to say Franklin Roosevelt, FDR. Uh, yeah, because he needed to be lifted up into the car. Is that why? Yeah. And I just think he had an affinity for for black people. And I, yes, he needed help with his chair. Like affinity, like a fetish? or yeah. Not a fetish, but he, he I think he understood what it meant to be different. <laughs> because oh, he was boy. in the chair. So usually being black is a kind of a handicap. Oh, God. I feel like that sounds racist. Well, you're, I think... I you're think... one of our most racist presidents. <laughs> <laughs> I would, no, I'll, I'll purposely, I'll, I'll change that and say marginalized, because I think he was probably looked down upon. Because remember, he couldn't, he had to always do um, stump speeches with crutches on. He had to, they, they never, they went out of their way to make sure he wasn't, appeared in a wheelchair. Well, you, they didn't even take pictures of him with the crutches. It was a different time, Earl, you know? It really was. It, there was always a lot of um, waist up shots, not a lot of <laughs> full shots of FDR. I, uh, Jeffrey Gurian always says the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why? Yeah. I never knew. And talk about, uh, the worst superpower ever, Jeffrey Gurian. Uh -huh. The ability to jump around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw him for just a split second, but a documentarian was following him around. Really? Yes. Yeah. They're yes. doing a documentary on Jeffrey Gurian. I can't wait to see that. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be the uh, biggest thing on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to click it and watch it all the way through, even if there's ads. And subscribe to the Gurian <laughs> News Network. Down here to subscribe. <laughs> Comedy Mattis. <laughs> hey, guys. It's me, Jeffrey. So, uh, I'm here with Kevin Hart. Kevin, 
Did you know that once that I was able to go on stage and everybody was laughing at some of the things I said? <laughs> so uh, I am sending you uh, a picture right now. Oh, great. Do you remember pre-show yesterday? We were uh, talking just for a moment. And I made reference because I, you said you were having a mint and it reminded me that I had Tic Tacs on me. You remember yes. that? And so yes. I was like, oh, who wants one? And the last person I gave one to was Chris Stanley. I said, here, I'll just open up the Tic Tacs. I said, go ahead, Chris. Yeah. And then I forgot about it. I have sent you the picture. What is this? Of the Tic Tacs next to his stand after yesterday's show, and there are like five left. He had sat there and crunched on Tic Tacs the entire show. They were not. I was hungry. <laughs> I knew I heard you. First of all, there was one point that I was like, what is that weird noise? And I like even took my headphones off because I thought I was crazy. He had been crunching my Tic Tacs <laughs> the entire time. Now, who does that? Somebody gives you one and then you eat them for the rest of the show? Well, they were there in front of me and I have compulsion problems. Yes, because hungry doesn't work. No one has ever said, I'm starving. Pull over. Let's get some Tic Tacs. <laughs> you have Tic Tacs. He, he's so strangely compulsive. And that's the thing. Have you ever have you ever given him something like a piece of candy or a mint or something? And he's like, oh, I don't really like that. And then he'll ask for more. Because he's just like, it's there, I want to eat it. But he doesn't oh, like it. One of my uh, worst memories I ever have is when Chris Stanley gets his big bear paws on a straw. And what he will, how he will damage and chew that straw yeah. he does. before he's done with it. He toys with it. <laughs> it's <laughs> half of the mouth. I didn't know you noticed that. Yeah, I do that all the time. It's disgusting. It's enough to make... Uh, Earl puke. <laughs> yeah, his straws are always like gnawed through and they're all spitty just because he's been chewing on yeah, them. Chew they're on like them, dented yes. and spitty. Yeah. You have like a, you have a weird compulsion thing. Yeah, put things in my mouth. Yeah, it's it's really like bad. Cocks. It cock or assholes. <laughs> men's assholes, balls. <laughs> now, it really is like people, uh, the, uh, a, a, a woman, um, uh, said to me today, she just came up because after, because we had been talking about some drug and addiction stuff, and she said to me, One line's not enough, and a th uh, no, one line's too much, and a thousand's too many, right? <laughs> and I'm like, Why is this turning me on? Why is that <laughs> you can't control yourself seems sexual to me? <laughs> um, so Kent from Colorado has a, a response. To to Earl's pick, Kent. Yes, hey guys, great yeah. show. Uh, yes. Earl, you're such a dumbass. You say it's FDR true. is the non-racist president, but the only one to inter Americans, obviously the Japanese in the Kuramatsu decision. Are you crazy? Not racist. Well, it was World War. II. I'm not well. Oh my the history God. of racism in the nation. No World War II. Okay. Do it. Do it. Oh if I'm not mistaken, I'm, I, I might be. Okay. I think, didn't Roosevelt also desegregate the army? No. He, After Wilson true, resegregated it. Yeah. Yeah, but here, but here's the thing. It's one thing if you go, "Oh my God, this is so silly. I can't believe I I had forgotten that FDR did that." But you tried to exactly. justify it. Exactly. It is the abomination of any president. No, I'm, I'm, yes. Yes. All of the president, like the history of black people in this country, is well documented and well racist. I'm saying the least racist. I'm I'm going back as far as I could go. But it's, this was, I mean, would you not agree that's one of the more racist acts? Is the it's horrible. I mean, of, of course. Japanese. I mean, you know, the other night I uh, did the, the talk, um, I, I had a panel, and we were in a justice's, I guess it's like a little museum for him, and he was one of the few, uh, in, in a six to three vote, he, he voted against, uh, you know, taking the, uh, having the Japanese internment camps. Yeah. And we were sitting there going, well, wouldn't this have been the easiest vote to ever make, you know, yeah. to ever say no to? And yet he was in the minority. Yeah. Uh, but, like, this is the funny thing about racism. 
Earl only recognizes the racism to his people, not to other people. Earl thinks the thinks the worst thing that ever happened in this country was slavery, but you really have to look about what happened to the Native Americans who were here, killed, raped, separated from their children, um, and basically down to this pushed into a few reservations. Right, almost completely be, wiped out. That's our original sin before right. even slavery. Yeah. But Earl's like, well, you know, they were Indians. That was... <laughs> I did not they, say that. Yeah, Earl said to me, he goes, they weren't like us, you know? They weren't Christians. But that that was really the, the biggest thing, was saying... Because you said, well, it was World War II. I mean, not... I mean, if you would say... Oh, I'm, not, God, I'm, not, I'm not kind of equating or justifying you it are. at all. Not yep, at you all. You just did. I'm just saying that in terms busted. of... Busted. <laughs> Earl, you got busted. All you care about is African-Americans, and that's okay, because white supremacists are the same way. So I think this is almost like an advance for you, Earl. Right. That's Congratulations. true, if you, if you think of it that way. I do think of it that <laughs> way, and I think everyone should. <laughs> Earl, do you, do you take back your answer now, or do you still stand by it? He goes in harder than ever. Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe that, <laughs> That's shocking to me. He's like Trump that way. Just yeah. never just attack it. That's what they say. If I yeah. mean, if you, if you, I never admire it. Sorry, you never back down. Double down. I mean, that's why. I mean, he said that about Al Franken. Like, not that what he did was wrong. He's like, can you believe the weakness of this guy for admitting right. it, admitting his and, wrongdoing? And the truth is, there are a lot of people now going, "Hey, why did he get pushed out?" So oh far? yeah, you know what I mean. Tons but of people are time. saying that now. And you remember the one who said it was crazy was me, right? Yes. Remember what did. you called me? Mm -hmm. Fucking enabler, uh, a white man devil. Yeah, I did. A honky? She called you a honky, Ron. <laughs> I don't think I did. Um, I don't think she did, and I, I find the H word <laughs> oh. to be unacceptable. It's one Chris. of the the more the more offensive words, oh, I would say, if you were sitting there listing them up, because mm -hmm. it's the sound we make, it's so hurtful. Uh, Danny. Danny in New Jersey. You're on Bennington. Hey, uh, Earl. John Adams was the least racist president. He was an abolitionist and defended uh, the British Army for killing the Boston Massacre. Well, uh, Earl has no idea what you're talking about because John Adams had the opportunity to put Japanese people in internment camps <laughs> and he wouldn't do it. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's a mark of a good president, I suppose. You know, the my favorite thing about John Adams is his theme song. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. You know, it might be a different one. Earl, why don't you answer back? What what part of being on the radio do you think yeah. that you could dodge things I'm, that make you? I'm exactly. trying to give an answer back, and I and the, <laughs> I keep getting cut off. I'm saying cut all off all of the presidents were were in their own way. John Adams awful. was not. Uh, uh, wait, John Adams wasn't. Yeah, but he could have easily. Ended slavery maybe through an executive order. He didn't. You know, didn't Jefferson have executive had executive orders in those days. Earl, you're not paying attention to history itself. You know, Jefferson there was thirteen had... colonies. What is he going to run around doing? Uh, I'm inventing a new thing called executive order. <laughs> it won't get used much until Obama, and then even more so by Trump. Uh, he's like, send out thirteen horsemen for this executive order. Bring me in my horseman. <laughs> Ride as far and as wide as you can. Scary. And say freedom once again comes to the colonies. This is actually go sounding to, like a good superhero. <laughs> go to any, every state except for one, North Carolina. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes them to jump on board. <laughs> Uh, I'm being told we need to we need to break now. It's time to break. We will be right back, Bennington.